homeopathic gynecologist, Dr. Sabira Chimthanawala, ma'am, is present. And she's practicing since more than 35 years in, um, in homeopathy. And please uh, welcome, ma'am. Over to you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I first and foremost thank the principal and the staff and especially Dr. Prachi Ambekar for inviting me to speak uh, and share my few views. First of all, I wish you all a happy Women's Day and I congratulate and welcome you all students that you've entered the homeopathic fraternity because of your good luck. Friends, I have been asked to share with you about my journey as a homeopath and I hail from Mumbai and jab main waha se Nagpur shaadi karke aai tab I was only 17 years old and Nagpur was not much developed aur mere maike mein koi doctors wagera nahi the but my husband who is a legendary homeopath and you must all have heard about him Dr. Kasim Chimthanawala urged me to become a homeopathic graduate. <coughs> I consider myself fortunate to speak in front of you all as an ideal example. Graduation I complete kiya and mainly self-study hi raha hai. College mein hamare waha sirf lectures hi hote the aur wo bhi Marathi mein. So I could not understand. So I had to study on my own. After my degree, attaining my degree, I was interested in gynecology and obstetrics. But kuch aata bhi nahi tha and college mein koi facility nahi thi. Jaha mein seek saku. Tab mujhe ek senior gynecologist ne allow kiya and sirf dur se hi normal delivery wagera dekhna tha. Do saal maine unke paas rahi और एक बार भी पेशेंट को हाथ नहीं लगाने दिया। But after that, after my small homeopathic clinic, हमने homeopathic hospital शुरू किया। पहले पहले पेशेंट इंजेक्शन और ड्रिप्स ही मांगते थे, और मेरा आधा टाइम उन्हें समझाने में लगता था कि homeopathy ही try करना चाहिए। और जब मैंने पहली बार नॉर्मल डिलीवरी करवाई कोलोफाइलम की मदद से तो बहुत ही हिम्मत मिली एंड फिर धीरे-धीरे केसेस बढ़ते गए और इतनी हद तक कि हमको फ्लोर बेड्स भी लगाने पड़े करीब-करीब तीन साल लगे मुझे पेशेंट्स को समझाने में होम्योपैथी एक्सेप्ट करने में उस समय सीजर्स बहुत कम हुआ करते थे और प्री ऑप एंड पोस्ट ऑप मैं होम्योपैथी ही देती हूँ नॉर्मल डिलीवरी में एपिजियोटोमी के लिए भी अप्लाई करने के लिए होम्योपैथिक कैलेंडुला है आर्नी का और इंट्रेंस है यही देती हूँ और ये सभी मेडिसिंस बहुत सक्सेसफुली काम करती हैं देन after that came the era where I started treating extensively for uterine fibroids, breast masses, ovarian tumors, uh, DUB that is dysfunctional uterine hemorrhage, infertility, PCOS as you all know PCOD, polycystic ovarian syndrome and cancers purely with homeopathy and with each case I could successfully manage which increased my confidence. So friends, I want to present some cases karna chahti hu, by which you will understand the potentiality of homeopathy. First, an obstetric case is my case. There I will only uh, present one case. I have a poor patient जिसकी डिलीवरी दो तीन डिलीवरी मेरे पास में हुई थी उसके बाद में उसके कुटुंबियों की हुई और उसके बाद पूरी कम्युनिटी आने लगी why because कि मेरे वहाँ होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन से नॉर्मल डिलीवरी होती है 
तो ये पेशेंट ने अपने नेबर को लाई पर वो नेबर के पे, वो जो पेशेंट थी वो आ, दूसरे हॉस्पिटल में लेबर पेन्स के लिए एडमिट थी वहाँ पे उन्हें ड्रिप लेबर पेन्स अच्छे प्रोग्रेसिव नहीं थे इसीलिए ड्रिप चढ़ाया गया था और ड्रिप पूरी होते के होने के बाद में भी उसके पेन्स रेगुलराइज भी नहीं हुए और प्रोग्रेसिव भी नहीं हुए तो उन वहाँ के गायनिकोलॉजिस्ट ने एडवाइस किया कि अपने को सीजर करना पड़ता तब मेरी पेशेंट ने वहाँ से डिस्चार्ज लेके अपने नेबर को मेरे पास लाई मैंने एग्जामिन किया और उसके बाद आई स्टार्टेड विथ पल्सटिला वन एम वन आवर इन एंड विद इन फोर आवर्स ऑफ पल्सटिला वन एम उसके पेन्स रेगुलराइज भी हो गए और प्रोग्रेसिव भी हो गए बाई प्रोग्रेसिव आई मीन डायलिटेशन अच्छे से होने लगा दैट मीन्स के लेबर पेन्स प्रोग्रेस हो रहे और डायलिटेशन भी अच्छा था एट सेंटीमीटर्स तक डायलिटेशन हुआ नॉर्मली टेन सेंटीमीटर्स इज फुल डायलिटेशन तो एट सेंटीमीटर्स के बाद डायलिटेशन रुक गया प्रोग्रेस नहीं हो रहा था तब मैंने पल्सटिला बंद किया एंड आई स्टार्टेड विथ कोलोफाइलम कोलोफाइलम आई गेव वन एम इन फ्रैक्शनल डोजेज फ्रैक्शनल डोजेज मीनिंग इन वन ग्लास ऑफ वॉर्म वाटर यू पुट इधर ग्लोब्यूल्स और यू पुट इधर लिक्विड एंड फ्रीक्वेंट डोजेज में देते हैं सो so, मैंने कोलोफाइलम वैसा ही किया एंड एवरी हाफ एन आवर वन वन टी स्पून आई गिव अ एंड विद इन टू आवर्स ऑफ गिविंग कोलोफाइलम आई एग्जाम हर एंड हर डायलिटेशन वॉज फुल फुल्ली डायलिटेड एंड विद इन अनादर हाफ एन आवर और सो शी डिलीवर नॉर्मली सो माई फ्रेंड्स यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन कितनी अच्छे से काम करती है और स्पेशली गायनिक अरे सॉरी ऑब्स्टेटिक केसेस में तो बहुत ही अच्छे उसके रिजल्ट्स मिलते हैं और एक पेशेंट आई विल टेल यू अबाउट माई गायनिक पेशेंट्स दिस इज माई ऑनलाइन पेशेंट एक पेशेंट है फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान फैसलाबाद शी इज अ ट्वेंटी नाइन ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल एंड शी कॉन्टैक्टेड मी फॉर सेकेंडरी इनफर्टिलिटी <coughs> उसके टू वन इश्यू हुआ था वो वो भी सिजर से एंड दैट सन सॉरी दैट डॉटर इज हैविंग डाउन सिंड्रोम एंड आफ्टर दैट शी हैड फोर अबॉर्शंस आउट ऑफ देम थ्री वर एम टी पीज एंड वन वॉज नॉर्मल अबॉर्शन सो शी कॉन्टैक्टेड मी एंड आई एज पर हर हिस्ट्री I asked menses were regular the flow was normal for 3 days very scanty but and she was a known case of hypertension where she used to keep getting headaches and a few joint pains ab infertility kyu thi infertility isliye thi ke uske both the tubes were blocked so <coughs> sorry that we came to know through her hsg uh, which is an investigation histo salpingography whereby we know that both the fallopian tubes you inject a dye and take an x-ray and see whether the fallopian tubes are patent that is open or closed blocked that we knew and bilateral tubes blocked thi aur itna uh, history tha फिजिकल जनरल्स बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं थे मेंटल जनरल्स भी बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं थी ओनली सेंजिटिव थी एंड स्ट्रेसफुल ऑफकोर्स बिकॉज शी वॉज नॉट कंसीविंग ऑन दोज बेसिस आई स्टार्टेड हर विथ अ नो सोड सो दैट आई कुड गैदर अ फ्यू मोर सिम्टम्स आफ्टर गिविंग नो सोड आई गिव हर मेडोरेन्यू एंड 
uh, two doses weekly for a month and a rare medicine which is called upion i started that with medvedinum but that i had to give daily for one month after one month i asked her to report to me and she uh, told me that her flow was normal the flow was good first it was scanty but now it has increased and she had slight dyspnea on ascending or lifting something tab maine fir usko medorinum hi diya but in a higher potency so i gave her medorinum 1m but i gave her only uh, two doses for 15 days and up on continue kiya phir i asked her to inform me again after a month third month mein she contacted me again her menses as usual regular flow aur zyada the but blackish and offensive she had dysmenorrhea during menses and pain in lower extremities very tired thirst increased then i did not change the remedy rather i increased the potency from medorinum 1m to medorinum 10m and i just gave her two doses of medorinum 10m and upion and if zyada pain hua to i told her to take cpia 30 sos and for the, uh, on, on the fourth uh, three months over fourth month she contacted me madam i have missed my periods it was five weeks that is one month and one week i asked her to do her uh, pregnancy uh, kit because she was not in front of me and she happens to be from pakistan uh she contacted uh, contacted me the second day saying madam mera up upt positive hai and mujhe zyada takleef nahi hai sirf back ache hai aur pain in abdomen hai so friends you can understand ye 3 mahine mein imagine bilateral tubal blocks could be cured jo homeopathy mein usne itne saal treatment kiya पर कुछ रिजल्ट मिला नहीं और अपने होम्योपैथी में तीन महीने में उसको रिजल्ट मिल गया आफ्टर दैट मैंने उसको मेडोरिनम स्टॉप करके आई जस्ट केव हर वन डोज ऑफ सिफिलिनम वन एम वाई वाई चेंज ऑफ मेडोरिनम नोसोड टू अफिल अनदर नोसोड सिफिलिनम फॉर द सिंपल रीजन दैट शी हैड अ बेबी हु वॉज डाउन सिंड्रोम that mean that means she had a syphilitic trait and wo khatam karna chahiye because uska second baby bhi kuch abnormal ho sakta hai isliye maine syphilinum 1m sirf single dose diya and told her to continue pregnancy friends she is still with me in her uh, uh, during her anc period and she is just now 20 weeks pregnant so friends you can understand how well a homeopathy acts dusra ek case mein batana chahungi uh, wo hai uh, from india only she is a 30 year female from jabalpur she is also my online patient she is also having primary infertility that means she has never conceived her uh, female uh, uh, sorry uh, menstrual complaints but she was menses were regular uh, she had acne on face and uh, they were very, very painful itching and basically she was a case of pcos she is also a hypothyroid patient uh, on already uh, thyroid tablets she had skin complaints like hair fall and uh, acne and gastric complaints and one more complaint was she uh, used to get frequent cough and coryza this was very frequent with feverishness tiredness lethargy and body ache ye sab to thai uske sath uh, uska ek 
यूएस जी बताता था कि उसको ओवेरियन एडिनोमायोसिस था एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट शी कुड नॉट कंसीव जबकि उसके बाकी इन्वेस्टिगेशन सब नॉर्मल थे लाइक ए एम एच इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट माई डियर फ्रेंड्स ए एम एच इज एंटी म्यूलेरियन हारमोन ये सभी पेशेंट्स इनफर्टिल इनफर्टाइल पेशेंट्स में करना चाहिए एंड स्पेसिफिकली एट द एज ऑफ थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव जहाँ पे ए एम एच लेवल्स दैट इज दिस हारमोन लेवल्स डिक्रीज दे शोअर्स के अपने ओवम कितना उसका क्वालिटी कितना है उसका काउंट कितना है ये ए एम एच बताता है हर ए एम एच वॉज नॉर्मल प्रोलैक्टिन ऑल अदर पैरामीटर्स नॉर्मल हर एच एस डी ऑल्सो द ट्यूब्स व पेटेंट ये सब देखते हुए हर आई आस्ट अबाउट हर टेम्परमेंट तो शी वॉज अ क्वाइट काम पेशेंट कॉन्स्टेंट ब्रूडिंग शी डि नॉट गेट एंग्री वेरी सून शी डि नॉट क्राई वेरी इजिली शी ओनली ले वेप्ट वेन शी वॉज अ लोन she liked very selected company and she was very indecisive she did she could not share her thoughts with anybody aur ek uski habit thi which she told me ke mujhe nail biting ki habit hai on all these parameters i selected calcarea cap i gave her calcarea cap for the first month Uh, four do- uh, two doses a week for one month and told her to report to me after a month after a month uh, regular the uske periods wagera slight scanty the but overall regular so on those basis i continued with calcarea ka uh, one m friends i do not keep changing my remedies as i feel calcarea ka will definitely help symptom similarity dekh ke to maine calcarea ka 1m diya for a second month or third month i gave her calcarea ka 10m or after that i told her to report to me and uh, after 3 sorry 4 months she reported uh, amenorrhea for 5 to 6 weeks I got her beta hCG done, which showed positive, and her UPT was also positive. And this patient stayed with me right through her pregnancy till her delivery. And very recently, she delivered a normal uh, female child. Where she sent me a message, "Thank you, ma'am, for all your support." So, friends, you can understand how homeopathy helps in. All sorts of cases. आप सभी को मैं वही बोलूंगी कि आप होम्योपैथिक प्रैक्टिस करिए और आजमाइए एंड यू विल सी द रिजल्ट दिस इंस्पायर मी टू कंडक्ट अ थ्री डे वर्कशॉप ऑन होम्योपैथी एंड गायनिकोलॉजी कॉल्ड एज गो होम दैट विच वी स्टार्टेड इन टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर एंड कंटिन्यू डिल डेट आई हैव ट्राई टू कंपाइल ऑल माई एक्सपीरियंसिस in my book manual of homeopathy and gynecology gynecology and obstetrics friends professional life ke sath sath by god's grace i could manage my domestic and social life as well thanks to the constant support by my husband and my son in fact all the other members of the extended family did not like the lady of the house practicing particularly as we are muslims but kehte hain na where there is a will there is a way and today i when i look back upon my life bhale bahut hi struggle hua hai mere sath maine mujhe karna pada but there is fulfillment and job satisfaction and we could establish homeopathy gynecology and obstetrics as a full fledged super speciality in nagpur friends as i have already told you that is was only my self study but with trials and errors 
with potencies, with mode of administration, I could develop and manage cases of all kinds. Jab legal matters hua karte the and serious cases hua karte the, aaj bhi main uh, usko manage karti hu and when I needed help, others would look down upon me as a homeopath. It made me sad, but it did not deter me. But I thank other assistants mere the, jo mujhe guide kiya, mujhe encourage kiya, jab when the things did not go right. COVID mein humne online patients shuru kiya, dekhna shuru kiya, aur aaj bhi hum dekhte hai, and we are treating patients all over the globe. But let me caution you, my friends, that all these things only could be achieved by utmost sincerity, hard work, dedication, and discipline, disciplined life of my five decades of professional life. My dear students, I assure you that your future as a homeopath will be bright and much, much more contending and better than the others remaining who are practicing other systems. Do not just take a degree, but apply it. And I assure you once again that you too will achieve all what I have done, that is name, fame, and money. I hope I have been able to impress upon you all what homeopathy can make you and we know uh, and sorry we have an academy the national academy of homeopathy india where we train you to become good homeopaths we have two gurukuls in a year and internship training programs we also have youtube lectures where we teach homeopathy so friends my dear students, join us to put homeopathy as a number one pathi and hail Hanuman, hail homeopathy. Thank you. If you have any questions, do let me know. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. It, uh, it was so great. You know, I, I wanted my lady students to, you know, to, to see a lady practicing homeopathy because, yes, I have... Because I come from DS, Dhundu Mama Sati Homeopathic Medical College and even in that college we had like 96% of the students used to leave us. So this this is not done. I, and I, I used to read uh, National Journal of Homeopathy since I was in college and there uh, I, I still sir uh, gives the answers na, every month. And, yeah. uh, I, I used to read your cases. So since then I know you 2001, 2002 and I'm, I'm so glad that you know I could I could hear you in person. I, I, I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Oh my God. Really? Uh, there are, I don't know. They, these are tears of joy in my eyes. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this is what I wanted for my students. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Uh, your students have any questions? Uh, okay. Uh, I will ask them. Yeah. So, um, so, ladies, have you got any question for her? Please unmute yourself and ask. Have you got any question? I don't know. I don't know. They are maybe they are shy or what? I I don't know. Yes, uh, but I would really ask you. During menses, there is only one question from my side. Yeah. Should we exercise during menses? What is your view on that? Uh, exercise during menses is not bad. If you have profuse flow, then you should avoid it for the days you uh, bleed too much. Otherwise, exercise can be done. Okay. And uh, one tip to manage home and the practice both. <laughs> is that one tip? How to... Uh, uh, see you should put your foot down that you want uh, to practice or yes. and uske liye we have to uh, convince our family or uh, aapke wale jo bhi hai, unko convince karna chahiye ke practice 
करवाना है भले घर में करो प्रैक्टिस कहाँ भी करो बट वो ज़रूरी है एंड एक बार वो प्रैक्टिस शुरू हो जाती है तो खुद ब खुद अपने को प्रोफेशनल लाइफ के साथ में डोमेस्टिक और सोशल uh, लाइफ हो जाती है इतना तकलीफ नहीं होती आई हैड अ हॉस्पिटल स्टिल आई कुड मैनेज सो आई वुड वॉन्ट अदर्स ऑल्सो टू डू द सेम Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. I'm, I'm so happy to have talked to you. Thank you very much. Thank you much. so much. Thank you. Thank you.